Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of G1 Silverbolt. This is Scramble City so it has an alt mode. Let me show you the box is barely standing up. Alright, there's good old G1 Silverbolt. I don't have the gun or Sucreon's head. That's the alt mode supposedly and it says F15 but actually a Concord if you remember that. Made by Takara back in 86. Actually it's Takara before it merged to Takara Tomi. There's the bottom of the box. Uh, side of the box, you got Silver Bolt in his alt form. The mid transformation sequence over here, nothing special. And the side here, you get to see Superion. Yeah, not not the greatest guest alt. Here's the back here. Superion's right here. Metroplex, Metroplexes, Ultra Magnus, and of course Trypticon and the other slew of auto or <laughs> Decepticons. You can actually read the tech specs over here, but I don't have the little tech spec reader, so oh well. Let's go into the jets real quick. I got these little two neat little jets for side to side by side comparison. There's Silverbolt, there's Thundercracker. Now correct me if I'm wrong, because I always get Skywarp and Thundercracker mixed up. I think this is Thundercracker. Here he is. Silverbolt is slightly larger. Uh, tip to tip. It doesn't have the rubber cone. The, the tip is actually kind of small. So there you are with a side-by-side -side comparison So you can kind of tell a slightly larger jet and put Thundercracker out of the frame Big big Autobot symbols right there a rub sign which you won't be able to make out And that's quite all right And I don't mind that not one bit Okay, let's go ahead and show you this a uh, detail on the cockpit uh, these stripes over here has a little bit of undercarriage junk, but I love the little gold chrome over here It isn't die cast, but it's a heavy jet because there's a little bit So good high quality plastic like they did back in the day Autobot symbol landing gear and I actually had to loosen up that bolt right here because the landing gear is difficult It's tight and that's not the only bolt that I had to loosen up tail vert or Sorry wings and tail rudder and burp stab so it, you know, taxis on the runway fairly well. It flies, I guess. A little bit of undercarriage jank. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it's pretty well constructed. Much better than uh, Thundercracker, in my opinion. It does have an alt mode. And to do this, we're going to flip the landing gear up. And there's this little tab right here. And, of course, from the bottom over here, we're going to move up. Move the tail down, the vertical stab down, and the tail will go up. Just for convenience sake, I'm going to move the legs down, which is the same transformation we have for the regular transformation into robot mode. I'm going to turn this 180 degrees. Again, you can see the legs pop out, so hey, these are the feet right here, so that's one step. Then we're going to move this little joint here on the inside and move it up. And these got little notches right here to make it more convenient. Just moves right up to the wing. And then we're going to turn the fists 90 degrees and even with the fists are partially obscured so you could even if I push it all the way in like I have it over here they're still out so that's what I don't like about this and that's pretty much it and this little clip right here clips on right here oh yeah while I have this I want just wanted to show you so you can kind of see if it focuses house row 85 Takara Company Limited 1985 Japan all right enough about that all right, that clips on down, and yeah, let me show you from the top view here so you can see better. Yeah, that is whatever that alt form is. <laughs> Repair bait? I don't know. You tell me. <sighs> yeah, I'm sighing. Okay, it, did, it is spring-loaded, so there is a little spring right here, and I'll show you. That this is what it does. If you push this little car back, Whoops. Yeah, this is one thing I don't like. It doesn't clip in, so this alt more is garbage. I'm not even going to rate it because it's not even part. So you can push this back. <laughs> All right. Something like that. It's supposed to go down the ramp, right? <laughs> All right. You get the drift. It, I think it does that. Yeah, this thing is garbage. I'm not even considering that as an alt mode. So just to show you, there is a little spring over here, so it's supposed to <laughs> pretty much ramp or jump or shoot that out the ramp. Now, now Silverboat does come with the feet of Bruticus. I'm assuming it also comes with Superion, sorry, Superion's feet, Superion's head, the chest piece, and 
Let's go ahead and transform them while we have them mostly transformed from this mode. Okay, it's not too difficult. We're going to move the legs back down from where it came from. And one of the things about the feet is I had to loosen up this side bolt because it's really tight. But that's how the feet go down and it's tight right now. There we go. Alright, that's the legs. We're going to move the wings back. And this little notch right here, we're going to push it down. Same thing like that. They move down. The elbows move down. Push, push the chest piece down. And that makes the nose piece automatically fall down. So push this piece back down. Or sorry, this piece back down. And it doesn't secure very nicely. So it's just flopping in the back. So you got that junk in the back. And we just move his head right back. Which he has a nice little head. I'm not going to lie. And while we have it here, I'll show you the articulation. Elbow does move to the side. And that's it. Or sorry, shoulder. Elbow joint. No wrist articulation. And yeah. It's partially obscured, but his fist even becomes larger. Has a thigh swivel, I guess. Can move forward because of that. No, uh, no knee articulation I'm aware of, and of course the foot joint right here that moves up and down. Oh, one thing is, of course, he's not. That's not his complete transformation. He's got the little superior chest piece, which pretty much slides in like that. And there you go. Yeah, not much there. What can I say? I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10 in this mode. Here's a size comparison with Megatron. So he's about 6.5 inches tall. And this is, of course, Sunstorm. So he is in between Voyager and Voyager and Deluxe size. So he was a pretty tall Deluxe back in the day. Alright, that's all I got, YouTubers. And I'll catch you all next time.